we can do the plans. We do them out 30 years. We throw a thousand scenarios at it. So I can see with a probability, a high probability of success, how much money we're going to have at age 80, how much money we're going to have at age 85. And so it's a great tool to be able to look into the future and give us some confidence and some clarity. Is the money still going to be there? You know, are we going to have to change things or change our lifestyle? Maybe we've got to work a little bit longer. You know, maybe we just got to spend a lot less in, in retirement. So we can build out those different plans. I, you know, I was working for some folks the other day and I, I, I tried one plan at them making $100,000 a year living on $100,000 a year. I did another one at $70,000. I did $120,000. And we can really see how that is going to affect the long-term and the longevity of the plan. So um, so 76% of retirees say income stability is their top concern for retirement. So what's your if you're out there listening right now, what's your concern? You know, think about it. And we're happy to help you out, and we're, we're standing by to do that for you. That's our passion. And and so that core income, you know, that retirement income gap is just simply taking all of those core expenses like food, clothing, shelter, taxes, health care. Keep in mind, taxes and health care, they're going to increase, okay? Uh, and, and all your basic needs. And then, you know, what about your discretionary expenses? How much are we eating out? You know, what are we doing for entertainment? What are our wants? Do we want some new toys in retirement? Do we want to travel? You know, if we're going to travel, we got to put that $10,000 a year budget into the plan to make sure that, you know, that's going to be available as well. And so, um, you know, all of these different types of expenses, we got to make sure it's in there. So, you know, first, it's, it's, it's surprising to me, and I know it's not fun to do. I get it. I don't like doing it either, you know, but my wife and I, we sit down at least once a year. I'm 51 years old. She's 46. We sit, we still sit down once a year and do our budget and we see how it's changed. Are we spending more? Have things, have cost increased? Have they gone down? Whatever. And so are we still reaching our savings goal every year? And so that's really important for us to pay ourselves first, right? And so, um, you know, you've got to really sit down and get this budget figured out. And I make people work hard on this because it's the most important thing. And, and, and so, cause we got to know what do we have to be producing to, to, to offset social security, to potentially offset your pension, to make sure you have that income. And so if you take your guaranteed income sources and you take your expenses and you add the, you subtract those. And if you have a gap there, you have a shortage, then we've got to figure out how we're going to fill that income gap. 